I was approached by one of our deputy heads who felt who'd had a lot, of, a lot of information about the craft space project, and he felt that the many practical skills that were involved in the project would help our boys um, addressing their social skills, learning to communicate better with each other, work as a team. So it's just about trying to do things a little bit differently and working um, in a different environment um, and, and getting them to be able to, to um, work together um, to create some things that they would normally be able to create. Today we, we embarked on a hands-on workshop with them where they were making items out of clay. Um, so it's been very uh, dynamic today. Well, what I'm doing today is just getting clay into a ball like last week and uh, then I'm going to roll it out with two sticks which will be sort of like a little kind of pattern which I will have to roll out just like so and then flatten it out a bit more. It was a, an opportunity for them to feed back the inspiration that they'd gathered from the museum last week into creating small vessels and tiles this week. I'm going to use one of the things before as a template and then just go around it gently, just like so. I'm going to pull it round here to make sort of like a package kind of thing. They're great, they're, they're great boys. They, um, they, they've responded incredibly well. They, they quite like the idea that there's an outsider coming in. Um, I think everybody has a vision as to what they believe a designer looks like or a craftsperson looks like. If you say the word designer, they think we've got big fluffy cuffs that look like Lawrence when I'm going. And if you say craftsperson, they expect you to look like Santa Claus. For many of these boys, it's given them an opportunity to prove that they can be really successful at something. And it's been really nice when other teachers have come into the room to see the work they're producing, see how well they're concentrating, how well they're remaining on task. And these are boys that normally, they just see in trouble all the time. Their behaviour initially didn't really improve at all. It was very much a case of getting to know what was going on and that was part of what those boys were about really, getting confidence in the, the, the people that were working with them. But once they, once they had confidence in that, they just improved drastically. I think that the, um, the, the boys have, have behaved a lot better than they would normally um, because they've, the ESB activities have been provided at a level that they can, they can um, attain. Their behaviour improved by 67%. We measure it by number of red cars, how, how often they're chucked out of class. So as well as their behaviour being immaculate in there, it improved drastically across the board. My behaviour's changed because I've sort of like been learning how to work in big groups and sort of like tiny ones because before I could never work in groups at all. My behaviour's improved. Uh, I'm listening a lot more to people so I can do the work easier. Their attendance as well was another issue um, that was uh, that again rose by 66% over the, 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 six, uh, the 12 weeks and again since then their attendance has just flown and their attendance is so much better now than it ever was and they've now bought into the school which has been fantastically important. To see them in a really positive light is a huge confidence boost to these boys as well and I think it is really good for the relationships that the boys have with the staff as well. That they can be seen in a positive way and not just a, always at the centre of trouble. There's a huge improvement in them. They've got a hook. They've been hooked in to what they into the school and what we're about. They've delivered some fantastic pieces of artwork that they had no confidence in themselves about at the start to say that well we can do this. Um, so the fact that they've, they've, they've got this and they've been and, and shown it off at an exhibition has just made them feel fantastic about themselves, so it's been wonderful. And that has just carried on and carried through. Our boys now are confident, they're happy, they know that they can achieve in certain things, and that's just permeated itself right the way through their, their whole lives in school.